The Comprehensive Africa Agriculture Development Program, CADAP, is a joint initiative of the African Union and NEPAD. CADAP is designed and has been endorsed by the heads of state as a policy framework to guide agriculture development on the continent. And one of the things that sets CADAP apart is its thrust on capacity development. So CADAP is basically meant to enhance that point, to really focus into building systems, building capacity for the continent to deliver on agriculture. As we approach the 10th anniversary of the Maputo Declaration of 2003, FANAPAN calls on all African countries to commit to signing the CADAP Compact without further delay. The hour is late and our unified strength is vital to achieve our goals of food security and poverty reduction for the African people. The Mountain Kingdom of Swaziland set the scene for FANAPAN's Regional Policy Dialogue in September 2011. The dialogue was attended by influential stakeholders, change makers and dignitaries, including Her Majesty the Queen of Swaziland. Among the host of projects and issues explored at the flagship event, CADAP or the Comprehensive Africa Agriculture Development Program received special attention. The overarching objective of the tripartite is to contribute to broader objectives of the African Union namely by accelerating economic integration of the continent and achieving sustainable uh, development, thereby alleviating poverty and improving the quality of life of people in Eastern and Southern African region. Fanapani in supporting the tripartite is indicative of a commitment to the people of the African continent. There can be no doubt that the African continent has great potential and it is our vision to see the continent becoming a significant piece of this global uh, jigsaw puzzle. Our vision is an Africa that is food secure and free from hunger and poverty. And this we work towards by making sure there are partnerships and linkages between government and civil society. But for us as FANPAN, we are in the business of generating the evidence so that our actors can then do the lobbying and positioning and cajoling with the ministers so that they can be winners. So we all have to participate in this business of making the policies that will guarantee us the food that we need. our heads of state committed that each and every one of the then 53 African states, now 54, would commit 10% of their national budgets to agriculture. So only 10 African countries have met that commitment. And we are talking two or three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, eight years later. fun to start with those that are just starting so that we follow the sequence in chronological order. I've got Botswana, Madagascar, and Mauritius. Botswana, what does just starting target processes mean? Botswana Institute for Development Policy Analysis and Transit uh, undertook agricultural sector review in 2006 
the report was submitted to government. This report has led to uh, government to review the national policy on agricultural development to look at whether the objectives that were set forward are still relevant or have been accomplished. Rascal specialty, uh, we went for uh, this uh, political roadmap. This political roadmap is uh, signed uh, last uh, Saturday. And so uh, our uh, cadet combat uh, will be signed as soon as possible. Country study has been done. Local experts have already been identified, and decision has already been taken at the level of the parent country. for the next group will be those countries that are preparing to sign the Akada Compact. In that category, I hope I'm right, are for Mozambique and Zimbabwe. Mozambique, what makes you believe you are going to sign soon? We have started the, the process in 2009 and uh, finally three weeks ago his Excellency, President of uh, the Republic of Mozambique, signed the compact. Congratulations. We had to revisit the consultation by holding some workshop with all non-state actors to make sure that we don't leave anyone behind. And that went on smoothly and very successful. Swaziland has a signed compact, Zambia has a signed compact, Malawi has a signed compact, Tanzania has a signed compact. It is true that we did sign the compact last year, so we, were to, we immediately go on to the development of the investment plan. But we went there without having done the gap analysis, mm -hmm. and that we learned a hard lesson. So we were to redo or go back to do this gap analysis. Uh, for just to make sure that as we go into the development of the, this investment plan, at least we have some evidence to support that. Currently, the Kadip country team is trying to engage uh, consultants who are going to help in the development of uh, the investment plans. And these plans will actually have to focus on the priority issues or areas that were identified.
Malawi has f finalized the development of the uh, investment investment plan and also the the, the gap analysis. And the, um, in uh, in September last uh, 2010, there was an independent review of the CADAP ASWAP and also the investment plan. And the, um, over over the period, the government um, which is taking the lead in the um, in the whole process has been doing several consultations to incorporate the recommendations that were made on the technical review that was that was done. Tanzania, finally. The government has taken a multi-pronged multi, uh, sort of uh, approach in, in, the for, in, in the form of identifying those investment projects which uh, we, we, we know that they require funding from different stakeholders. So they have already organized the private sector, for example, to come with a massive investment in uh, what they call uh, Southern Agriculture, Agriculture Corridor, yep. which is being funded through... Uh, mobilization resources from the G20. Yep. Then we have also USAID uh, Feed the Future. It's already uh, starting to take place. So basically, I think uh, of Tanzania, we could say that some of the most of, some of the critical investment projects are already uh, uh, starting to, to operate. Congratulations, fun, fun notes. You are now fully supporting the CADEP agenda. Continue the good work and keep us informed. Thank you very much.